Testing, testing, one, two, testing, one, two, recording. Hi, my name's Makassi, and we have two packages today that I haven't opened. Well, I, I, removed, I removed the name tag off this one, but this one came in a weird packaging, like a two-layer packaging, so let's... I mean, you already seen what's in this package by the thumbnail and by the name of the video. But it is around 9 a.m. right now. And I have this back pain that's been hurting me for a week-ish now. So let's get it fast. But I wanted to be productive today. I didn't want to just sleep in all day because it is my day off so let's do some non-scripted unboxing okay here we go by the weight of it i can already tell which one's which this one should be the boots so which one do you guys want to do first the boots or the jacket let's do the boots first <laughs> But I should state by saying these boots, they're not for me. I bought these for my partner. Uh, these Guidi, I don't even know the name of it. But these Guidi, let's unbox it. Yeah, there we go. These Guidi are the Guidi 788ZI. Full grain horse leather, blah, 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 line, size 41. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Yeah, so these are not for me. I normally wear a size 43. I doubt I can be, I doubt I can even put my feet in here. Well, maybe I can. Oh, this is new. In 2013, Guidi has launched Guidi Community, and it's fine. <laughs> Oh, the Vibram Soul, they changed the color. It used to be black, but now it's orange. But the fish scale orange now. What else come in here? Oh yeah, this is the back side. But it's... Okay. I don't like this at all. I don't like the color at all. It should be black. It should just... Why are they overdoing it? And then you get the Kuwaiti authentication code. No, never mind. This is uh, paperwork. Sorry, this is paperwork. Um, I'll put a photo up of it right now, and then we'll read it together. So, Kuwaiti footwear has been crafted in Italy from the most refined skin available. Veins, potential scratches, flaws, example, little stains, especially on pale color. Tonal variation and grain differences are the result of vegetal tanning without any film over and a process of handmade production designed to highlight the natural grain of the leather we use. Given the above, these features should not be considered imperfection. Blah, 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 how to take care of it. But yeah, I've always, I've been a big advocate for full grain, untouched leather because, okay, but Guidi is kind of going against their words here because here yeah, let me show you this guido right here excuse me it's patent leather and with patent leather you have to do a lot of you know a lot of things to make it look patent shiny so they're kind of going against what they're saying so let's put all of these back inside the little the little guidi bag nice i don't use this and then we have the tote bag, which I like. It's okay. I like my Rico and tote bag a bit better. But this is cute too. And then the Guidi logo is on the inside, if you don't know. G-U-I-D-I. There we go. There's no, um, there's no pockets. There's no zippers. No nothing. It's just it's a tote bag. So let's put that here for now. The boots. I'm sorry if I lack energy. I'm just this back pain is hurting me, and it's very early in the morning. 
But that's what I like best about DHL. They deliver my shit super early. I hate UPS because they deliver my stuff at like 3 p.m. They, they would drive past my house, go further, and then come back. And then they would tease me by going around all of my neighborhood. And then at 3, which is like at the end of their day, that's when they deliver my stuff. Okay. Let me put this over here. That is a pair of nice looking boots. There we go. Once again, full grain horse leather, soft horse leather in white. And the interesting thing about the ZI model, am I saying that right? Yeah, the 788ZI model is, okay, so the 788ZI has the full, not full, have the metal heel. And then the 788Z has stack leather heel. So, and um, I emailed, I emailed Guidi, I thought of, like, what if they just put it as a plated thing? You know how um, most designer jewelry, it's like, it's sterling silver and then they paint it gold in the hope that people just don't read the description and think it's gold. So I thought of just like paint it on like, as an outside, but it's fully metal in here. But then at the bottom there, the it's softer stack leather. So yeah, so the middle, so it goes stack leather, metal and then stack leather again which is nice uh, back zip this time not pl2 the zipper in the beginning is always tough because they it's a really well-made boot most of it is handcrafted good year welt so it's gonna last forever um they don't really they, i don't believe they use glue either so there are it's a lot of nails so you see three nails here three nails here and then you can also see them from the inside but it's just the unboxing i i have planned um a video to talk more about the leather and to essentially review these except for the part where i talk about what wearing it is like because it's a size 41 it doesn't fit me i don't think hang on yeah it does not fit me look this is all I can put in there. Yeah, it's, that's it. <laughs> so, oh, hang on. Maybe that's why there's this thing right here. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, no, that's it. That's all I can do. Size 41, not for me. But before we do that, let me just show you the leather. Because I don't want to do any B-roll for this video. I just want it to be raw, uncut, unboxing. And then the metal. Fully metal. And I'll show you my PL2. So, okay, here we go. My PL2 has stack leather. This one has full metal. Focus, focus. There we go. But yeah, I guess. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Yeah. Um, with Guidi, the leather initially is very tough because it does break down. But one of the things I look forward to, or one of the things I look forward to for my partner is when the leather does stack, that's when it's going to look really good. With my PL2, the leather stacks, but since it's a front zipper, there's this part of here that doesn't stack well. So with this, when it's like a year, two years old, it's gonna look like this and that is so much more beautiful than my PL2 but the reason I don't like the 788 as much is because I think the back zip is a bit boring I like okay okay here we go okay um if you don't own any Guidi and you plan on getting one I would recommend you get the PL2 first because there's just not a lot of boots that have front zipper or boots that have aesthetically fitting front boots 
because the row make these boots that I don't think the front zip look good at all. It looks like it looks tacky to me. It's hard to explain. Okay, let's put the Guidi up here, the PL2, and then put the row boot. To me, this looks wrong. Maybe that's just my head. <laughs> but yeah, um, Guidi PL2. Um, let's talk about the color real quick. White, full grain, horse leather. I actually like this more than I thought I would be, but okay. It's not fully white, which is good. This feels like pearl or feels, it's not off white. It doesn't have that eggshell color, but it's like, it's not white, white when it looks bad. It's like, look at my room. It's not like this white, but you can't really tell because I have yellow lighting now. So, <laughs> okay, anyway, yeah, this is a size 41, the PL, not the PL2, I'm sorry. This is the PL2. This is the 788ZI. The metal is nice. And I believe, so Guidi does this thing called object dyeing. So they put the whole boots inside the washing machine. <laughs> Not a washing machine. Whatever. Um, so the metal, you can see scratches on there, as I'm sure you saw earlier. And so they make the whole boot and then they throw it in. Whereas some other company, they assemble, they put it in the wash and then assemble afterward. That's why the colors are not uniformed. So with Guidi, all the colors will look the same because all of it, it's it goes into the washing thing assembled. So, okay, I'm gonna explain this. In, in my next video about Guidi, I will have all the B-roll and all of that. I, I started the script, but I haven't done it yet. Okay, anyway, shut up. And then at the bottom here, this is the authentication code, but there's a tag here too. I'm going to keep it on for now because it is for my partner and she doesn't know her sizing as, as well as I do. So there's a chance we might have to return this, but these retail for $1,700 more than my PL2. My PL2 retail for 1.5. This one retail for 1.71. And I think most of it has to do with the metal, you know, that's extra work for them. Whereas the stack leather heel, stack leather heels, it just, you know, it's just one process. This one, you get the stack leather heel, the metal, and then the stack leather heel again. But yeah, this is after a two year period of wearing it now, one year, two years. And I haven't added the fish scale outsole yet because I don't know, it, I've been lazy. <laughs> And I also, it doesn't, the heels doesn't, it hasn't like erode in the back, the heel drag. It doesn't look that bad, I don't think. But to be honest, I'm, I'm kind of more fond of the white leather because it's, um, it's like my white kiss boots. I like my white kiss boot better than my black one. My black one's downstairs. Anyway, I might sell those because every time I'm, Every time I'm about to go out and I'm like, I want to wear my kiss boots today. I, my mind just instantly go, get the white pair. <laughs> I'm sure there are occasions where the black pair looks better, maybe for my wedding or something. <laughs> but right now I just love the white pair better. So white boots, um, I'm kind of into white boots. And if you worry about getting it dirty, you know, just try to take care of it. But I worn this to the beach and everything. It got wet, it got everything. So it still is fine. Like the, the scratches and like, Watermark are definitely more pronounced, but the boots, just clean them up when you can, take them to the cobbler, have it professionally clean, or buy some of those products. But with my leather goods, I don't really take care of it that much, or at all. Like, I just wear it, I wipe it off with some tissues before I wear it, and that's about it. Okay, so yeah, Guidi 788ZI. Very, very beautiful, to be honest. I think I would have liked one for myself, too. Because I, I look forward to how these will stack and it's going to look so, so good. But this leather is buttery, feels smooth, there's a good weight to it. It's not heavy, but it's not light. Yeah, it's good. It's a good, it's a good pair of boots. And um, my friend, um, my friend on Instagram, he showed it to me and there was a sale and he posted it and I was like, I'm going to get a pair. And he got a pair too. So yeah, 
I just I just wanted my partner to have some quality products, and you know she's not a big fan of fashion, but I, she's my partner, so my partner has to dress it you know, well. And um, do I wish she was more into fashion? Sure, but you know she she has her own interests, you know. But um, when I can, so okay, she was at work, I believe, and then these boots went on sale, and I bought them, and then I asked her like, if she liked it. But I was gonna buy it regardless, cause like, you know, if 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 she doesn't like it, I'll return it. If not, I can sell it, make a few bucks, so that's fine too. But I just wanted her to have some nice things, and these these Guidi boots will last her a lifetime because she does take care of her stuff. You know, she takes care of her footwear, her clothes better than I can. Oh my back! <laughs> oh, why am I talking so much? I should be laying down. I should. Just... I still have one more item to unpox, holy shit. Guidi 788ZI. Very, very good looking pair of boots. I'm sorry, it's just dead air time. I'm actually just admiring it because these unboxings are actual unboxing. Yeah, these are so good looking. It feels chalk. That's a better. <laughs> I think this is chalk color. And colored and chalk is not white white there's like a hint of like darkness inside the chalk so it's not pale white where it's like there's some character to it i hope i'm i hope i'm explaining this well i don't think i am but greedy 788zi with um horse leather there's a particular smell to it and it's still here in my pl2 yeah, I think it might be it might be because of the vegetable tanning, but I believe it's because the horse leather because some animal product have a distinct smell. For example, alpaca, my bare knuckles, there's a distinct smell. If you own that cardigan, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you own any camo product, camo has a smell to it, and so does horse. Um, yeah, horse leather. This was my frontier deeper into the leather exotic leather my next up i would like it to be python or kangaroo or bull skin i've been look so i did this video i, I don't know if it's out yet but um, i've been researching into like leather goods and i'm learning a lot and just um like stingray leather parachuchu the thing that ragoons always use like i've been learning a lot about these leather and it just it's interesting yeah kiss boots so Oh, okay, my girlfriend, my girlfriend. <laughs> she's been, I can say it, she's been begging me to like wear like, she's a bit into like K-drama, not a lot, she used to be a lot, but she's a bit into K-drama. And with Korean people, in their culture, it's very normal for a couple to wear the same items. But I think it's a bit tacky on most days. Like, you know, I'm, I'm a man, I have emotions. <laughs> So like some days I believe it looks tacky on some days, let's wear the same thing. It, it'll be fun, you know. If I'm in a good mood, if I'm in a playful mood, but if I'm just in my everyday mood, which is very nonchalant, very emotionalist, I don't think a couple items look that good. Like, so I sort of compromise with her, you know. So I will wear this and she will wear this. So in a way we're matching, but not like, exactly matching if that makes sense but yeah i just i just want my partner to have nice things and um <laughs> i offered her sister carla <laughs> i lost that battle okay so these boots i got in the sale very good price but my youtube code of conduct i can't tell you but so they were on sale and there was one more with a size 40 which would fit her nicely and she's been going through some hard time just you know teenage stuff going through some drama and i was like if you like this i will get it for you and she was like no i don't want it it doesn't fit my style i'm still into sneakers blah 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 i'm like well you might say that now but in the future eventually everybody kind of moved from sneakers to boots i did it most of you did it most of you are going to do it but she just she's very <laughs> I, I don't want to say stubborn she's very confident in who she is so she's like no i wouldn't wear i wouldn't wear this as much and she's like 
there'll be no occasions to wear. And I was like, no, you're supposed to wear it every day. These are like everyday type of boots. And she's like, I would never wear these every day. These are special boots and they're so expensive. She's 16. So I see her point, but I was like, you know, if I get these for you, so many people are going to be jealous of you because this may be a wrong view, but when you're a teenager, you want to impress people. That's why most sneakerheads, most hype beasts are like high schoolers, you know? And I want her, since she's my little sister, I want her to have all the nice things in the world. And I want her friends to be jealous of her. I want like strangers on the street to look at him like, that little girl has Gweedy on. That little girl has Prada on. That little girl's wearing fucking Ragoans. That's what I want her to have because it feels good. It feels good for other people to like praise you, you know. I, I'm, we, most of you might not admit it, but you know, we all like to be complimented. And, um, but yeah, I lost that battle. <laughs> she said no, and then the shoe sold out. But I think we're going to have this conversation again in like three, four years. And she's going to be like, when she does get deeper into fashion, because man, the more you talk to me, the more you watch my video, the more you're going to get into fashion. So you're going to learn more from talking to me and watching my videos. And I think, you know, I know in three to four years, she's going to come back to me. She's going to be like, damn, I should have taken that chance to get the Gwee. Now it's gone. Now it's like worth $2,000, $3,000 because, you know, inflation, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I lost that battle. So she could have had these shoes. Carla, you could have had it. I was ready to buy it for you. But... My girlfriend can wear this. Hopefully it fits her. She's coming to see me in a month or two. Um, next item. How long is this video now? 20 something minutes. <laughs> okay, next item. But yeah, Greedy Boots 788Z1. This one, I removed the name tag already because it just came in this boring box. <laughs> I'm excited about this. This one is for me. These are the Bodie Daisy Quilted Jacket. The tags. I'll put the tags up. Normally, normally these Bodie's jackets, since they're made from like vintage material, they it's very limited. And this one is limited to 100. And that's nice. My um my grandmother garden is limited to 12. So they didn't have a lot. They didn't have a lot of those fabric, but yeah, so this is, oh, my apologies. These are Bodhi dotted daisy quilt workwear jacket. And I kind of took a gamble on this because this is a medium to large. And I took a gamble. Let me grab it. One second. One second. It's behind the camera. So with, with Bodhi, you kind of have to take a gamble because... They don't, their sizing is super weird. So this, this is also a size medium to large and it fits me perfectly. Perfectly. But I have a body jacket that is a size extra large to extra, extra large and it fits me perfectly. So this, this looks a bit small. So I feel like this won't fit me as well. Right, we'll put it on now, but yeah, but Keep this in mind, this is a size medium to large. This is also a size medium to large and this one looks smaller already. So let's take this off. But yeah, this jacket, I've been wanting this for like a year now and it finally reached the price that I was comfortable with. Well, not really, but <laughs> I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. Yeah, the interior, it's so nice, it's orange. I'm not, I'm not, I don't believe myself to be a fan of orange, but this is just a nice color. It is quilted, it's padded. That one earlier isn't padded. This one is slightly padded, 100% polyester padded. The Bodhi logo, I don't like it because it's gonna fall off. But yeah, these are beautiful. Let me just show you close up real quick of what the print looks like. Yeah. And then the front. The front is my favorite. The back, not so much, but the front, dude. Look at the front. That is so good. Let's put it on. Yeah, the sleeve is... It's a bit short already. 
and I can already feel it. I mean, look, it, it fits. So that's the beautiful thing about the sleeve. It's kind of short. So yeah, I mean, it fits perfectly, but you know, with my thing, I like my stuff to be a bit oversized, but this is fine. I think I can make do with this. It's what's part of the back. I mean, when you lift your hands up, you kind of feel the restriction in the armhole a little bit, but I mean, how often do you go like this when you wear them? Let's button it up. Let's see if I can actually fit this. I mean, it should, but. There we go. Look, it fits fine. Okay, how about this? I'm gonna do some editing. I'm gonna be wearing this right here and then I'll wear the other one and I will stand right there in a second, so. Okay, do you see how this fits better? I mean, I hope you see it, but I feel it. This fits a bit looser. So this medium to large is definitely on the large size. Let me stand here. There we go. Yeah. So that one is a bit tighter. This one is a bit more loose. This one fits slightly better. I don't feel any discomfort with the arm. So yeah. Um, a bit, a bit disappointed with the fit, but I took a swing and you know, sometimes you miss. I didn't miss that badly, but it's a miss regardless because it doesn't fit me perfectly. Ah, these Creech cargo trousers are so long. Um, I have two options. I can either return this or I can wear it. Or oh, I can sell three options, I guess. Oh, I can sell it, make a little money. Because Bodhi is a brand on the come up, or has already come up, but Bodhi has a bit of a resale value, which is good. I really wish this one fits like that one. Because I love, I love this print so much more. If you were to ask me, Makassi, you can only keep one, like just print, I would keep this one. I would sell this one in a moment's notice because this one was just a good deal when I got it. This one is something I wanted. Um, this one retail for like $1,710. This one retail for $1,600 something, no, $17 as well. But yeah, I like this one so much better, but it's a bit sad that it doesn't fit me that well. I mean, look, it fits me, but not comfortably, not, okay, on, on a scale of one to 10, comfort, I would say this is a seven or an eight, the slight armholes, but I'm used to like tight armor from my Rigoans endeavors. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tweety boots for my partner. Jacket could also be for my partner, but I mean, it's for me, I don't think, uh, I'll think about sharing with her, but we'll, 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 her and I will talk. But I do like this. I love the print. I love, love the print so much. Just to be disappointed with the fit. Anyway. Yeah, um, when I received the email this morning, not the email, the tracking this morning, I was more excited to open this up. But now... Smelling this, licking this, and just looking at it. This is so good. Maybe I'll get one for myself, but I also want to limit my footwear purchases because I believe my footwear has completed. Like I have boots, I have loafer, I have sneakers, I have Crocs for every occasion. So like, I don't, I don't want to be one of those guys that just have a bunch of black boots. No shade to them. Like, do what you need to do, but. I think I would like to invest into my trousers collection now, which is becoming really, really good. My trouser collection does so good. Oh, I love it. I love my closet. My jacket collection does so good. My sweater, my knitwear, my hoodies. Okay, my hoodie could use a little bit of work, but my trousers, I don't wear a hoodie that much anymore. My, my trousers, they're beautiful. My boots, maybe I'll talk that. Maybe I'll talk about it in my another video. Like a lot of people prioritize footwear, prioritize boots, prioritize sneakers. 
I don't really do that anymore. I prioritize my trousers because I think the trousers does the most talking when it comes to outfit. So if you wear a high rise, you can wear cropped. If you wear um, a medium rise, you, you can't really wear crop. Otherwise, you see that jacket exposed and then the trouser. Anyway, I believe the trouser do most of the talking. So I really have been investing in my trouser collection a lot lately because the trouser really determine the whole outfit, at least most of the time. Sometimes jacket do too. But most of the time, I start off in my trousers. Am I going to wear straight-legged today? Am I going to wear skinny? Am I going to wear wide-legged trousers? And then I would determine what kind of boots I'm wearing. But most of the time, I'm just wearing my Crocs. <laughs> but then, the <clears throat> if I wear wide-legged trousers, I can afford to wear a more fitted top. So then, you know, you get the big trousers and then the tight upper, which is a good look. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so let's do that real quick. I mean, although these pants are wide like it, I want to show you the model that I'm going for. One second. So we're going to try this. Let's see how it looks. I don't know how it's going to look. So let's do the look that I love doing. Wide like it bottoms and then tight upper. So then this is kind of high rise kind of wide so then you get something small on the upper okay what do you guys think i can't really see from this the screen the lcd screen on my camera is not that big but hopefully it's a good look to you guys this is i can i can definitely see myself doing this look i don't know why my waist got so high i can definitely <coughs> i can definitely do this look this is looks good to me from afar let me check myself out in the mirror real quick. Yeah, this is not a bad look at all. But yeah. <laughs> what do you guys think though of that look? I think it looked good. But my video, I used to, um, yeah, I guess I can talk about this a little bit. My video has become longer, a bit less scripted, which is something that I like because this is more me. I want to treat this channel as like a fashion hangout. You know, you're you're scrolling through, you're scrolling right now, shopping, and you have me in a smaller tab, and then you know, I want I want to treat my video as like a hangout spot, just you know, me and you talking. So the video has become longer. To some, it might not. To most of you, it would deter deterred most new watchers but for people who like long form talking I guess it's good I don't know I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> okay uh, I'm a bit happier now because since this is like since this is like cropped ish and small ish I can do the wide like it looks and then the tight upper the small upper so I'm a bit happier that way now that I found a new, I mean, I knew it was it. It was always in the back of my head to do this, but with my other Bodhi jacket, it's slightly bigger. Um, let me show you. Show, don't tell. Don't talk about it. Show them my ass. You Come on. Okay, so this is my other Bodhi jacket that is a lot bigger. This look doesn't look that great because it's so high up, you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, it should be like this. This would be better. This is that jacket. But since it's kind of long, this is like, looks a bit weird. It just, this doesn't, this look doesn't look as good as that look. So yeah. Oh, I'm making a big mess just for this stupid video. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, tell, tell me about your latest pickup in the comment. I won't read them. Someone else will. But, you know, tell me what you picked up. Talk about it. What do you guys think about Guidi? Guidi has become a lot more popular lately. A lot of people, not a lot, a few of my friends are, like, hating on Guidi now because they, they see it's a bit too mainstream, so they're kind of, like, moving away. They're a bit hippie, you know. They don't want to wear what other people have, which is fine. That's their prerogative. They can do what they want. 
uh, for me, I like that GUID is getting more popular. I like that more people are wearing them. It's fun. I like to see my um, I like to see my favorite brand succeed. And the more feed, the more, the more the boots are on the feet of more people, the more money for them. <laughs> yeah, Guidi, Bodhi. Damn, no Rick Owens. Damn, now I'm sad. <laughs> I enjoy unboxing Rick Owens pieces because it's just there's so much depth to depth to everything. It just nothing is ever done by accident. Everything has a point, everything has a purpose. Yeah, maybe I should buy some Rick Owens after this video. <laughs> anyway, I think we can end it now. <laughs> Thank God. My name is Makassi. I will go back to sleep, edit some video. Thank you for watching. My name is Makassi. I will talk to you later. Mm. That's fine. Mm.